Hi everyone, let's go over my bullish and bearish Elliott Wave scenarios on Bitcoin. Starting with the bearish scenario where we're looking for a leading diagonal in a wave 1 or A, a 3 wave corrective structure to the upside in 2 or B and then another impulse to the downside in a wave C or a wave 3. The probabilities in this case would be higher for an A, B, C, after which we then expect continuation to the upside. The invalidation for this scenario is price moving to the upside and taking 73.8k before taking the low. The common target area for your wave B is the area in green between the 382 and the 886, 63.1k to 71.9k and the common target area for your wave 2 is in red, the 05 to the 786, which is between 65.1k and 70.1k with the FIBs taken from the start to the end of wave 1 or A. Preferably wave 2 or B is also ending after the 0.382 FIB time, which is a FIB time taken from the start to the end of this wave 1 or A, comparing 1 or A with 2 or B in time and it is very very uncommon for wave structures to end before the 0.382 FIB time and this FIB time is sitting on the 19th of May so preferably we form a three wave corrective structure ending after the 19th of May and then we look for a move towards the downside. The most bullish scenario is that your low is in and we are looking for impulsive continuation to the upside breaking the all time high. Wave 1 here is finished looking for wave 2 and then continuation to the upside. Now because of this impulse impulsive structure to the upside here of the low you do start to see that the sentiment is turning very bullish once again and this always makes me think of a psychology scenarios which go against the sentiment and it's not necessarily Elliott waves based even though we do have bearish scenarios but what I think is very interesting is grabbing this low at least one more time stopping out the early longers and also changing the sentiment because if we can move down on a high amount of volume it induces some fear and also some panic and that is then what I like to see for price to move back towards the upside and of course this scenario here looking for a potential ABC and then a move to the upside would be hilarious right price moving up almost taking the double top here and the all-time high only to move down again on a high amount of volume make a wave C at the low and then move it back up towards the upside or the second scenario which also means taking the low here which I still have in my folders and will show you in a second now talking about this bullish scenario in a 1, 2, 3 or continuation or this scenario here where we look for a wave B or 2 towards the upside on the 4 hour time frame this is then what we are looking for right so we have at least a temporary if not a full low here looking for an A or 1, 2 or B and then a 3 or C to the upside. The common target area for your wave 2 is the blue box, the 0 0.5 to the 0 0.786 Fibonacci taken from the low to the high of this wave 1, giving you a target area between 61k and 58.4k and you can see the 0 0.5 is hit. For this wave B, the 886 is also a common target, while for a wave 2, the 886 is very very rare. This low over here is also made after the 0.382 FIB time taken from the low to the high of A01 and that is also what you like to see but we can definitely extend this sideways structure for a longer period before moving back towards the upside. On the one hour time frame we are then looking for a three wave structure right because a wave two or B has to be a three wave corrective structure and at the moment this move to the downside over here looks more like a single impulsive structure in a wave one two three four looking for eventually a wave five to the downside finishing a wave A three wave B to the upside and a five wave C a zigzag in the bigger wave two or wave B before then moving towards the upside. When looking at support we do have some support below price which is the blue box here at 59.4k to 60k and what is also important to tell you is that we did close a candle now inside the two hour gap so we had a gap here on the two hour chart we closed a two hour candle inside this gap which does increases the probabilities for price to sooner or later fill this gap either directly or we get a bounce in the B and then a move down in C to fill this gap and the gap low is 
also in confluence with that target box that we have over here. The first real area of resistance towards the upside is this blue box over here sitting between 63.4k and 63.7k. The second bearish scenario is a sideways three-wave structure in a WXY after which we expect continuation to the upside. In wave W we then have a regular flat in an ABC, wave X is a running flat also ABC preferably finished and then a wave Y to the downside is expected either in a zigzag which is most common a 535 where you do like to see the low here taken because of the common target area either a flat or a potential triangle structure which is the least common structure in wave Y. Now the common target area is the box in yellow the 0 0.618 to the 1.236 trend based fib extension from the start to the end of W to the end of wave X giving you a target area between 56.7k and 47.9k with the extension target being the 1.618 at 42.4k. Has to be said that the probabilities for this WXY are not the highest at the moment because of this wave X being a running flat structure and a running flat is the most rare flat structure never preferred unless all of the other scenarios fail which at the moment is not yet the case but if we then do zoom in to the lower time frames then what we are looking for in this wave Y at the moment would be a potential zigzag in a wave A, B and then a wave C to hit that target area. So in this scenario we're also then looking for a wave 5, 3, five wave structure in an ABC but here you do want to see the lows taken. The most bearish one hour scenario is in Discord now also known as Stuba's hourly inconsistent bear post where he's looking for multiple one twos to the downside and then of course a big wave three that is what we like to see. Now preferably after this latest wave two we actually then get a big red candle to the downside like a big big move however we started ranging here once again which does lower the probabilities for this scenario because after a triple one two you definitely want to see some volume coming in as well talking about volume currently we are moving to the downside here with a volume moving to the downside as well and in this scenario what we're looking for is price moving parabolic to the downside that is with volume increasing which at the moment is not the case and of course we want to have strong impulsivity and not these type of ranges we definitely need to see a big straight line to the downside it's good to know about because in this scenario you expect a strong continuation right and in the other scenario where we are potentially still looking for wave 5 to finish you expect a move down but then a bounce signs of strength here and a continuation to the upside to look for this wave B so that is the main difference between the two if we then look at the probabilities of the different scenarios then on the daily time frame at the moment the probabilities are quite neutral as we just keep an eye on the local price section to see if this is corrective price action here or impulsive price action and this is not Elliott wave related here but a personal opinion is that the psychology scenario Scenario is very very interesting though due to the bullish slash greedy mindset in the market and the sentiment so this would result in the low being taken to stop out the early bulls so I'm keeping an eye on these type of scenarios just in case where we have that potential three wave move up and then a move down or the WXY however between the two the diagonal over here a finished A or 1 2 or B and then a wave 3 or C would have a higher probability at the moment compared to the W x y because of wave x being a running flat on the one hour time frame the probabilities at the moment are highest for the bulls till there are clear signs against it in other words taking the high over here before taking the low looking in that case for a wave a b and a wave c to the downside in a zigzag Local volume moves down as price is also moving down which supports a potential five wave structure and then a bounce to the upside with the weekend coming up that could be nice as well to range in a wave B during the weekend to the upside here. However on the two hour chart we did close a candle in the two hour gap over here and we have to be mindful for price filling that gap sooner or later because closing a two hour candle inside the two hour gap increases the probabilities to fill that gap to the downside and hit the area of support. If we do bounce to the upside from here then possibly we fill the gap with a wave C later. On the number two spot we then have the bearish scenario lower probabilities at the moment but this becomes relevant if price really starts to move to the downside in a straight line with increased volume then we have to be aware of that triple one two and a big move to the downside. 
I hope that this video was helpful or valuable to you. Please check out the most recent educational video I've made about the best trading indicator you can use in my opinion, which is the CVD. And for now, thanks for watching and subscribing and I'd like to see you at the next one. Bye bye.